Greetings, welcome back to Pink on Erd. Today, we are going to be carrying on in our no buy, no die, create on the fly series. Um, we're in the process right now of making ephemera. As you guys know, we already made these little secret pouch envelopes, which is really cute. And uh, today, I think we're gonna carry on with making some more ephemera kind of stuff. And what I wanted to do was I have this really mega pack of, these are really lightweight um, papers. So I think today what we're going to do is make some envelopes. And depending on how long the envelopes take, take us, I might do the tags that go in them in this video or a separate video. I realize that I can do these all in one video. I know I can, but I'm trying to have it a little bit more like a create or craft with me kind of, kind of series. That way for people who are, are wanting to do this along with me, you're able to kind of like pace yourself and not have to like pause and do what I'm doing, etc. cetera, so, something like that, you know? So yeah, I think today we're gonna go ahead and dig into this. So let's go ahead and get started. So today I just wanna keep it really simple and easy. I'm just going to pull out, um, I just wanna try and do 12 of these. So that's, that's three sheets, let's see. Four, five. I'm trying to pick different ones so there's a variety. So that's five, six, <clears throat> seven, eight. There's no particular rhyme or reason for those pickings. It's not supposed to be uh, matching, if you guys remember. So I'm just picking at random. Now I'm gonna trim off the white edges of these. Mine has it, yours might, may not, depending on what you're using. Okay, so I know that our books, or my book's gonna be somewhere in the range of eight and a half by five and a half, uh, or nine by six, depending on how I do the covers. Um, and so these scrapbook pages are 12 by 12. Now, to make it a lot less intense for us, I'm going to try and do this with as little measuring as possible, but also to try and use as much of this um, sheet as we can. So to start, I'm just going to fold up at the bottom. <clears throat> no particular measurement. That's probably about an, an inch. Um, and I have one of my signatures right here. So what I do know is I don't want the signature, the envelope to be bigger than the signature. <clears throat> so, so I'm just going to do kind of like a rough, <laughs> estimate and say maybe fold it right there just to be really easy breezy like that so I'm pretty sure that's going to be under eight and a half it's probably right at eight and a half which is also okay so that's that's fine um, I'll do the next one a little bit a little bit more folded and then for the sides I'm just gonna take one side over Make sure they're lined up. And then take the other side over. Obviously you don't want this to be wider than five and a half. I'm pretty sure this isn't. It is not. So perfect. So now for these envelopes, we're gonna open these back up. Super simple uh, where your lines are. So this bottom left corner, you're gonna just slightly cut at an angle up to the intersection. And then when you get to the intersection, you come to the right of this line and do a slight angle there. Do you just repeat the same steps on all four corners? So 
So here's what we should have like this, like that, and like that. Yes. Aha! We made an envelope. Okay, so now I'm going to glue. So I want to make sure over here I glue really good at the edge because I don't want that like catching whatever gets put inside. And then I'm going to glue here a bit. And then over here, I'm going to glue about up here on the edge and then along down this edge. And then about halfway down to the bottom as well. Perfect. And then we'll close the bottom. And then this is our opening. So it's like this. All right, so that's super easy, right? So I'll do one more with you and then I'll go off cam and do the rest. Actually, so I'm going to do, I'm gonna do six of them like that, I think. Yes, I'm going to do six of them just like that. All right, and then we'll be right back. All right, so I think you guys get the gist of it. So I'm gonna do the other four and I'll be right back. Okay, friends, so we've got our six made here and these are all with the little flaps. So these are gonna be like our interactive elements, like you could take it out of the book, put it in, add stuff, whatever, whatever. All right, so those are those six. Now I also want to make six more, but slightly different. So for these, I'm going to take the top edge of the page and I want to fold it down maybe around a half an inch because remember I'm using really thin paper and I also can't fold straight. So that's a thing. I wonder why. Is that my paper trimmer or is that me? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Stand by. I think it's my paper trimmer. I must not, I must have done it crooked. Hold on. Oh, it definitely is the way that I cut it. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> Redo. Redo. Okay. Top edge. And I want to fold that down about half an inch. If this is still crooked, I will probably scream. Okay. Much better. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna add a little little bit of glue. We don't have to add a whole lot right now, just to add a little bit just to hold that down. And then I wanna do one more fold, just like that. And this one I am going to fully glue. Now what I want to do with these is instead of having these be removable out of the book, I want to make some that stay in the book but without the flap, the open close flap, so you would just slide something into it. So we've got our top edge nice and strong and because I'm using that really thin scrapbook paper, this is going to give us a stronger edge because if we're going to be sliding something in and out of it, like you don't want to risk tearing it as you put something in it and then 
there goes your pocket because you can't fix it because you can't take it out of the book. I mean, you could, you probably could fix it, but uh, you know, just it's a preventative measure. So again, I'm going to fold the bottoms up and I just want to kind of make sure that it's not going to be more than eight and a half inches. I'll just use one of these to, as a reference. So we're good. So fold up the bottom in a bigger chunk, just like that. Fold over just like we did before. So there's not much difference between this one and the last, but this is a really good, both of these are really great ways to be able to use those 12 by 12 sheets of paper and have minim minimal, um, I gotta make sure this one's not too big. It's a little big. Uh, minimal, uh, uh, you know, waste out of them. So you just want to make sure it's not bigger than your page because then that's not going to be great. Okay, I'm going to burnish this. Make sure it's really flat because of that extra folding that we did there. Now I do want to get rid of these two flaps because we don't really need those and I just don't want anything inside of here getting torn or uh, caught on whatever goes inside of these pockets. And you could do these pockets any size. You could do this with um, book page, music paper, uh, scrapbook paper like I am. It doesn't, it doesn't matter the size really. It's the same, it's gonna be the same process. And then we'll put that flap just like that so it's out of the way. And then before we glue this down, and this is an optional step. Like I said, this step is totally, totally optional. But I have some scraps here, or if you save the scraps from your cutoffs of your other envelopes, you could also use these for that. Um, and I'm just gonna take any one of my punches and punch out a shape. This is the little fluffy uh, circle. I don't know what you wanna call it. <laughs> and I wanna add a little, I'm gonna fold this in half. And I'm going to add a little glue to it, both sides. And then pop this right in the center, just because these are going to be going on the page. And I feel like having like some little notch here is an indication of, hey, this is a pocket. So it's going to be glued down on the page but then you just have, and then we'll probably decorate the front so you don't have to, but, oh, we have to finish, we have to finish gluing this down. Okay, so let's glue this down. Doesn't really matter because the back is gonna be completely glued down to the page. So I'm gonna do around the edge here, down here, about, about three quarters of the way, some in the middle. And then I want to make sure over here, I really get that top edge because I don't want this splitting over time. And then the same on the side edge. And, and then on the bottom, I'm gonna go about halfway and a little bit in the center. Perfect. Perfect. And then we'll glue this bottom flat down like that. Perfect. Okay, let's do one more and then I will come back and uh, with the others done. So, oh, we're going to start with, this page is not directional so it doesn't really matter where I start. So about half an inch. A light glue, keep it down. Hello. My glue stopped working. Oh. I'm gonna have to get a needle, I think. Oh, yay, yay. Okay, so I just re-pierced it. There we go. Sheesh. 
Okay, a light glue for the first fold. If you feel comfortable or if your page isn't big enough, you can just do one fold. It, it probably would be just as sturdy, but I just want to make sure. So two. And then we want to really glue this down. Bottom flap. Let's make sure that's we good. Over. And over. Great. Okay, now we're going to cut off those two bottom flaps that we don't need. She own, and then we'll glue that bottom flap. Take a punch. Perfect. Look at that. So good. All right. I'm going to do the last four and then I'll see you guys back here. All right. So we've got our six little pouches all set to go. So cute. And like I said, you don't have to decorate the fronts of these if you don't want to. I think I am just because I want to try and use more of the old stash. So what I did for this next step is I went into my scrap box and I don't know if you guys are like me, but I have a load of these like skinny strips of scraps. So what I was thinking is I found those strips and then I also found coincidentally, 12 of these little Zodiac cards that I guess I had used uh, probably for some of my Celestial books. And then I also found these words that I had printed out and I've already used some from Priscilla, Release the Craft In. So, <laughs> uh, we're gonna just try and see how this comes out. I don't, I don't really know. We're just, like I said, we're creating on the fly and it's not, Okay, and I do want to clarify, like, this idea of no buy, no die, create on the fly is really more so about for, like, the people who don't know where to start or you don't feel like your stash has enough, enough stuff or you don't feel like you have the right things or A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, obviously, there are certain books where it does matter, like, what you cut out and what you print and what you, where you place it and da, da, da. Like, all that matters in those kinds of books, for sure. Absolutely. Like those books take even longer to make because they have to have so much thought into them. 
but this is for people who just have stuff and you need to use your stuff. And this is also something that's supposed to be a little bit more liberating where you don't feel like you have to get analysis paralysis just sitting here trying to figure out, well, does it look better this way or does it look better this way? Who cares? This is a, this is a project where it's just create, okay? So we're just gonna, we're just gonna try and see. All right, so let me move these out of the way. It's gonna be kind of the same design, I think probably on all of them. I definitely have more of these strips if I end up running out, but we'll see. So to start, I'm just gonna take my own advice and just start gluing some of these strips down. So I'm gonna use this side. like that and I'm just going to put it down and then I'll take another I'm just grabbing from the pile obviously some of them I may have to cut down which is fine I need some water and we're just going to layer them on just like this Cool. Let's take a piece of this. Like that. Make sure your envelope is the right way in case any of your pieces are directional. Uh, let's take this piece here and we'll pop that right there. All right. Like so. Actually, I think I may do one more over here. One more piece of something. I need a skinny strip of something. How about this? This should work. That should be perfect. Cool, okay, so we'll glue that one. Bingo. All right, so cool. That's like what we have so far. Now, if you like the way this looks, you could leave it like this. Um, so what I have though, like I said, are these little cards and obviously they're all gonna have a different Zodiac on them and that's okay. Um, if you don't have something like this or maybe you have some printed out digitals already that you could use or, or anything like that, like you can. Or if you have like, um, Let's see. Also, I don't know if I want this whole square because then I feel like it takes away. I don't know. Let's just try it and see if we cut it in the shape of this diamond, what happens. I might regret it, but that's okay. That is okay. At least we'll know. Sometimes you just have to try it. And then maybe just place it somewhere. And then I'll take some of these little words here, like this one says magic in the night. I think these might be Halloween words, but even if they um, are a little like spooky or something, I might try, I can like cut certain words out of certain uh, phrases and use them different ways. So I'm gonna cut this in half. Oh my gosh, I already like this. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna glue this little diamond down. I 
I need to get some water and I also might make some tea. So good. All right, now let's glue our little words. Where do we want them? Like up here? Magic in. Needs to be cut down a little bit, as does this. Magic in the night or down here. I kind of like it at the bottom. Ah, yes. See, you have to make fraction, split fraction second decisions. Like that's the most time you should allow yourself for this project, a fraction of a second. Like if you feel like you have to make a choice, you can only do it in a fraction of one second. That's the rule. <laughs> that's the rule. Don't break the rules. Magic in the night. So cute. And I love this. Oh, uh, how cute. And then we'll have, some, we'll make something to put inside. <gasps> this is so good. You guys, I love it. Okay. Let's do another one. All right. So again, I'm just gonna, I don't know, just start gluing. I love this project. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> I hope that you guys like this too and I hope that you guys feel good about using your stashes, your scraps. If you guys don't have like skinny strips like this, like I do, you could also, um, like if you have digitals that you printed out that you haven't used, you could use those, blah, 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 you know, things like that. Just be creative. Or if you have papers that are not your favorite papers, you can also use those. Cut those down into strips or tear them if you don't want them to be like unison. That one down. Take a little piece of this. And I need to do something down here. Like so. So I think we will do what's going to be on the inside of these for the next video just because this one's going to be too long I think if we try and add that in because like I said I want to be able to like create so that you guys are able to kind of craft along at least a little bit. And I am going to cut this just because I want that to be a little bit more, I don't have any other torn edges, nothing's wrong with the torn edges. Like I might do some that way, but for this one, I'm just going to use the straight edges. Perfect. And I think I'll add one more over here, perhaps something just, let's just take this. That'll be great. It's supposed to be raining by now. <laughs> it's absolutely not. The sun is out. This is why this is why California is annoying to me sometimes. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna be 90% chance of rain. Okay. That's why I never believe it when the forecast. Like it sometimes it's it's accurate, but most of the time it's like, why you always lying? <laughs> okay. So do I wanna add any others? I'm gonna burnish these down. So good. Perfect. I think that's enough. Okay, so let's just, I'm not going to think about which one's going to go on here. I'm just going to cut out the next one. 
and I am going to stick with the diamond shape. I just feel like it covers up too much of what we just laid down. And whatever you're using might be different anyway, so it might not even matter. All right. Let's see, where do we put it? Here? Here? And then, see if we can find something here. The candlelight glows, that sounds good. down I think I'm going to cut the word glows actually I might cut all three let's see No, I like it like that. I like it like that. Okay. So let's glue this down. And you know what I think? I'm going to add one more word here. I'm going to take this enchantment and add that as well. So it's gonna say the candlelight glows enchantment. I like that. And I've got plenty of these little words printed out already. <laughs> more than enough that, I, that will go around for all of these, I think. All right. Where do I want to put it? Over here, over here, over here. It's a fraction of a second. Split, split hair decisions. All right, that's so cute. So I've done these two with you guys. So cute. So I'm gonna go off cam and do the others and I'll see you guys back here. All right, the envelopes, the removable envelopes are done, but I was thinking instead of doing the same thing on the little ones that are going to be stationary, I was thinking why not put um, like strips? So I was thinking maybe put like a little side belly band. So let me, let me line this up so I can cut it. I wanna make sure it's straight. Oh, you know what I could do? <laughs> I could glue this side down. So we make little belly bands across. And then I'll show you what else I was thinking. Just to give it a little bit more juice. So we'll cut this side. Ooh. So like that, real cute. So that way we can add a little something into the front pouches of those. So let's carry on again. I don't, I'm not being particular about what I pick for these books. But I was also uh, considering actually just leaving these plain because I really kind of liked the way that they looked a bit. So I was like, oh, should I just leave them? Because I'm also trying to think about what pages they're going to uh, land on. But I'm like, I guess I don't really know that yet. So, <laughs> and I could, I could pick pages for them right now, but I'm not, I'm not gonna do that right now. All right, so let's glue this one. And I'll just keep going with this one since it's here.
Okay, one more. Something decorative. Uh, this will work. Little keys. Okay, now that that's done, what I was thinking is I want to add a little something to the centers. Now, if you have like a punch, <clears throat> you can use a punch out image using like your scraps, that would be cute. Um, if you don't have a punch, you could use maybe fussy cutting some images that you've already got, or you can use uh, stickers. You can back your stickers and then fussy cut those down. But I think I'm gonna try and use some of my little ephemera pieces, so let me grab them and see what we can use. All right, I pulled out just six little pieces from my ephemera, so let's just go ahead and add these. So maybe we'll put this one here. I'm gonna make sure this isn't a sticker because I don't want it to lift like later. I think that's kind of cute. Maybe a little bit like that, maybe. So I'll glue here. Like so. I'll make sure I didn't glue it down. <laughs> Okay, good. Cute. So that's one. And then maybe we'll do this little carriage. There's two. I don't glue it down. <laughs> okay. Here, let's do... Maybe we'll do this one. Kind of simple. I like that. Oh, I like the way, I love the way that looks. These little hand things are like one of my favorite <laughs> type of ephemera. So Victorian, I love it. All right. Here we can do, let's do the butterfly. Okay, two more and then we're done. Um, on the next video, we will make what's going to go inside of these, some tags. So I hope that you guys will come back. Uh, I'm, tr I'm gonna see if I can try and get myself ahead so that we can get on a schedule so that way you guys can know when to expect the videos, but I'm just doing my best right now, guys. So thanks for, <laughs> for bearing with me and just hanging in there for when the videos are able to go up. Appreciate ya. All right. Put this here. All right, okay, oh my gosh, we did it. <laughs> All right, so let me run through and show you guys what we did today. All right, 
So to start, I have the removable uh, envelopes that will be like envelope <laughs> envelopes that you can pull out of the journal. We're gonna put something in there. Uh, I noticed on uh, the scrap that I had, the diamond part, like this part was cut off, so I just used it anyway. And then I also didn't wanna cover up the bird that was already on the paper, so I just collaged on this one in a different way. Here's the first one that you guys saw me do. And we did this one. And then for this one, I did a little different. I had a bunch of these blue ones, so I was like, let's try and use some of the blues. And then I just layered a piece of book page and then some other elements over it also. So a little bit different on that one. Oh, and I also stamped on that one to give it some extra texture. So here's this one and this one. And then for the ones that are going to be stationary on the page, we just finished these up. So you guys are probably fresh in the mind of these, but they all have a little belly band on the front that's gonna be really cute. And that's it. So yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this next phase. You know, ephemera takes such a long time, such a long time. <laughs> Um, you, you, when you think about it, all technically we have made so far are these, but you can see the, the time that it's taken to make these. So <laughs> it's, it's a very, um, arduous process, uh, and you know, it drones on, but hopefully we are going to make our way through to the other side and get some more, maybe make something in mass a little bit so that we can have a little bit more things to fill up the book with, but one step at a time is all we can do. So I think that is going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time. Toodle.